Instead of getting these dangerous killers into jail, we have radical DAs and attorney generals, prosecutors, all across this country subverting the law to attack conservative people and religious people, evangelicals, Christians. The very same raging, radical left lunatic attorney general that is coming after me in New York State is also waging war on the NRA, shamefully trying to destroy this legendary organization that's been an American institution since 1871. You know, when the NRA endorsed me in 2016, for the 2016 campaign, it was fairly early. And I do have two sons who are really good shots. I don't know if you know. Eric and Don, if they were golfers, they'd be scratch. Maybe better than scratch, actually. But they're really good. They've been a member of the NRA for a long time. But, and I think maybe that helped. But they endorsed me. That was considered one of the greatest things to do. That was like getting into the Wharton School of Finance or getting into Harvard or getting into a great college. That was a great thing. And they endorsed me very early. And it was a great honor. We did a great job. And they better endorse me again. They <laughs> Well, they're going to have some explaining to do. They'll have some explaining to do. No, I, I think we're in pretty good — I do believe we're in pretty good shape. And when you see the polls in a little while, you can understand that. We're in pretty good shape. I've never seen such spirit as there is right now. I've never seen — and part of that, sadly, is because they are doing such a horrible job of running our country, which is really destroying our country. And I think it makes us even more popular, to be honest with you. They are doing such a horrible job. What they're doing is destroying our great country. I want to congratulate you for fighting it so bravely, all of the things that have been happening to you. The racist in reverse ran for office on the promise, I will get Trump. You ever see the commercial? I will get Trump. I'm going to get him. Didn't know anything about me. She's running for office. I said, who is that maniac? But I'm watching her campaign, and a lot of people in the race, and, you know, you get a few people that vote. Very few people, actually, it takes to get in. But she proclaimed, I look forward to going into the office of Attorney General every single day, suing him and then going home, being very happy. I said, oh, gee, I hope she gets in. I hope she will. But she announced, what is fueling my soul right now is Trump getting Trump. And she knows nothing about me. So it's not an investigation. You're going through the same thing. It's a persecution, just like her attacks on the NRA and just like the witch hunts against us by the Manhattan DA, the Marxist DA in Atlanta, and the, the guy I have watching. This guy's central casting. The guy from Washington, special prosecutor. They say special counsel. I call it a prosecutor. It's much better. Uh, they're looking at the boxes hoax. Biden has 1,850 boxes that are unaccounted for. He had many boxes in Chinatown. Classified information, many boxes. They got them out of there, but they got caught. That's called obstruction. And they sent them up to Boston, and they sit up in Boston. And then it was revealed that he got millions of dollars from the Chinese. He got millions of dollars. But he has boxes in Chinatown, boxes all over the place. They don't care about that. They only care about Trump. But they're trying to arrest their political opposition. It's really very much like the old Soviet Union. They call it Soviet-style, with the elections and with the interference. They're interfering with the election. That's what they're doing.